Hey YouTube land, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we're gonna take a look at the Bugs 4W4K. I'm just moving the camera around here, getting it all set to go for a flight. And uh, it's pretty cold out here right now. This is not designed to fly in the cold. So what you're gonna see next is I'm gonna fly it indoors and uh, then we'll come back outside and I'll fly it outdoors. So here's the indoor flight. Outside, it's pretty darn cold right now. Can you see that? So uh, I'm inside and I have my little Bugs 4 down here and I'm gonna fly it in my guest room. There should be plenty of room here to fly it. Let's try this. So we're all ready to go. Put a battery in your Bugs. There we go. And uh, power it on. Put it down flat, as flat as you can, and power it on. You'll see these little lights blink. Take your little controller here and power that on. And you should see the power of the controller and the drone. Yes, yes, they're talking together. So they're all set to go pretty much. Make sure on the side here you have GPS off. Now the bug sometimes gets confused and it says, hey, I need a compass calibration, but you're indoors and you can't see the satellites up there. So you got to fake the compass calibration. So just do this. Pick it up and spin it three times. Once, twice, three times. And then uh, point the nose up. Camera looking at the sky. Spin it again three times, once, twice, three times. You'll know when you're done because watch the little lights under the arms. Did I get that? See, they're all solid. It thinks you did a compass calibration, but we didn't do one. We did a fake one. So you're pretty much ready to fly. Don't forget this if you're gonna fly indoors. Do a gyro calibration. Pull the joysticks down and to the left. These should blink. Here we go, let's see if it works. There we go, let go of the joysticks. All right, it's all calibrated, so it's ready to fly. So you should be able to fly indoors. Now, you have a choice, you can turn the app on or not. So for this here, I'll turn the app on so I can record some video. So you'll have to connect to Wi-Fi. The drone Wi-Fi for mine is called Drone 4, I'll connect to that. Then you can open up the app, mine is called MRC Pro. Hit the start button, and we're all set to record video if we want. Let's start up the motors and we should be able to fly. So red button starts the motors. There we go, and uh, let's take it up. It's pretty big for in the house. There we go. That's me moving around. If I don't touch anything, there you go. That's what it does. It just sits there, still sitting there. I'm not touching anything, and uh, that's me over in the front. So it's a pretty stable drone. I'm not doing anything. It's uh, sitting there quite nice. Look, it's blowing wind all over the place here. So how's the 4K video? I'll take it up a bit so it looks at the picture a bit. There's the picture on the wall. How's the 4K video? It looks really fisheye. Let me uh, move the gimbal down a bit. See what happens there. There's the bed looking down. It looks better when you look down. So it's definitely a very wide angle lens. Very stable drone. I'm not doing anything. It's sitting right there. So that's uh, really stable. Probably one of the most stable drones I've seen in a long time. That's really good. It's just using the camera on the bottom to stabilize itself. So here, I'm gonna land it and we'll uh, take it outside for some flying. The drone is really easy to land because on the bottom, right here at the front, those are ultrasonic sensors. So they know how high it is off the ground as it's coming down. Great for indoor flight. Hey, welcome to the outdoor flight. Well, did you notice something interesting about the indoor flight? I was filming that with this camera on my head. This is a DJI Osmo Action. And did you notice indoors, it doesn't really work that well in low light indoors, but the camera on this here drone, it's got, a it's got an aperture like of F2, I think. So it's really wide open. Did you notice that the images coming from the drone were better than the images coming from my camera for like uh, light and color and all that good stuff? Yeah, so it's pretty good for low light. You could film with this. All right, we're gonna go fly this outdoors. Let me tell you a few things about the drone quickly. It has a 22 minute flight time. It's got a range of a mile, but I don't believe that for one second because it is Wi-Fi. So you probably have a range of maybe 800 meters, 500 meters. Depends on your cell phone because you're connecting between your cell phone and this. You do need a cell phone that has 802.11 AC, just like the old Bugs 4W that came out earlier. It's all the same. Has a lot of options, uh, more camera settings in here than the previous version. When you don't fly in GPS mode, then you can fly in gesture mode and all those other things. But I'm not going to show you that because that's pretty gimmicky in my opinion. So I'm just going to show you the things that you'd probably want to know because it is really cold out here right now. Like I think I've already mentioned it 200 times. It's minus 10 degrees Celsius and this thing likes to fly in 5 degrees Celsius. So 
yeah, it's going to be interesting. Now it does record video right here. I'll move the arm to a micro SD card. You'll see that in the unboxing. I'll show you an unboxing at the end of this video, all the particulars about this drone, which you get in the box. You get a lot of cool things and it does come in. Let me show you. It comes in this huge case right here. You get this big case with it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a shoulder bag, but everything fits in here. The charger, the batteries, the controller, and it comes with that really nice controller with the nice display. I don't know if you can see it out in this light with the sun shining, but it has that nice Mavic display. Brushless motor, so you have tons of power, foldable arms for portability. You have really good LED lights. If you've never seen one of these drones fly at night, the Bugs drones, you have to check them out because the LED lights on here are spectacular. They look really cool in the air, different than other drones. And of course you have the landing lights at the bottom. You've got the ultrasonic sensor, so you can fly it indoors and outdoors, and it knows when it's close to the ground. Uh, you have this, the optical flow, which is for when you're not using the GPS. So you can turn the GPS on and off on this drone. Only item it lacks is a three axis gimbal. It has zero gimbals, so it just uses vibration dampening. So what that means is if you're flying your drone forward or backwards, life is good. But if you stop in the air to look at something and the wind is blowing, your drone does this and uh, well, your video does that. Now, as I mentioned, it's pretty cold out here. So when I fly this, this is not gonna enjoy it, but we'll see what we get. So let's go fly it outdoors. Outside now with the drone, let me just show you some of the features on the app. There's your settings for your altitude, distance, everything. I've got everything turned off. Off. Notice the orbit uh, radius, semi diameter, return to home altitude. I have it at 34. You can do your calibrations this way, or you can do it the way I showed you in the house. Everything is good. Green check marks. You also have camera settings. If I go like this, you can record a 2.5K or 4K. Here's all your settings. Uh, make sure I have it on sunny because it is sunny exposure out here right now. And there's a few more settings for your actual phone for getting the information back to your phone. Uh, and you can adjust that any way you want and you can format your memory card. All right, I've already done the compass calibration, the same one I did in the house, except now I have this on GPS for outdoors. So we're all set to go hit the red button and uh, let's take it up. I'm walking in the frame over here. This is the, uh, I think it's 2.5K. The temperature right now is minus 10 degrees Celsius. The specs for this drone says, uh, they actually say that this drone will fly in five degrees Celsius. So minus 10 is yeah, pretty darn cold compared to five degrees Celsius. So the drone is not liking the cold. So this is the 2.5K. I'm gonna hit the stop button on here and switch it to 4K and you tell me what the difference looks like to you. All right, if I did that correctly, we are now filming in 4K. So do you see any difference? This is 4K compared to the 2.5K you saw earlier. Let me just move the drone slowly along the snow and tell me if you see anything. I'll fly it forward nice and slow. And I'm bringing it back to me in 4K. Whoa, nice and fast. All right, so let's try some features on here. Let's just take it up. Okay, I'll do the most popular one called follow me. I've got the sun in my eyes over there. Let me see, follow me, slide, and uh, there we go. The drone should follow me. I'm just gonna move quickly because I am freezing out here. I see the shadow of the drone over there, so it must be following me. I don't have the, oh, I have the gimbal good enough. You have to adjust the gimbal on the follow me. Let me see, I'll move this way. Is it gonna get me on the side? Still there? There it is, it's coming. All right, let's bring you out to this little ice patch out here. Walking on some frozen water. There we go. Make sure I don't fall through. All right, so I'm on the ice. Uh, let me circle it around me. Let's go into orbit. And I've already set up the parameters for orbit. Man, that sun's bright. There we go, should start orbiting me. 
I, I kept the radius really small so that it would stay. Oh, that's right. I should have been more in the center as always. Let me just go over here. I think that's about the center. So that's the orbit me doing its thing. Hey, I'm not even in the center anymore. <laughs> Let's slide over there. All right, let me just stop that. You also notice on my screen, the drone has headless mode, but I'm not gonna use that. If you click on the map, you see on the bottom right of my screen, there's a little finger and you would click on that and you would draw waypoints. On the bottom right, you see submit, click on that. I should see something pop on my screen. There we go, it takes off to the first waypoint. And there it goes, it's going to the second waypoint. Now I'm just gonna stop that because I don't wanna do waypoints. It's pretty cold out here, so my battery is not gonna last the full 22 minutes. I'm just gonna take it away up in the air and I'll take some snapshots before it wants to come home. There we go, you can see my drone way up in the air and I'm gonna do something that most people don't do. Watch this, I'm gonna turn off the controller. See this? Powered it off. See all the beeping stopped? Now I have no controller signal, nothing. Look what happens with the drone. It will just return to home. So someplace over there is returned to home. Let me get over there. <laughs> There we go, we can see it coming down. It's coming down, coming down, coming down, down in the snow. Let's see, where are you gonna land there? Drone, go down. Oh, it wants to go back over there. <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> this is funny, where are you going? No, nope. I'm not doing anything. Okay, now, now it finally stopped. It doesn't like the snow. It can't tell that it's on the ground when it hits the snow. All right, so that was my flight and review of the Bugs 4K. I didn't show you a lot because it is pretty darn cold out here. And I just showed you the basics, the things you'd want to know. You can watch my other review of the Bugs 4W. I probably showed you more in that one than I showed you with this one because it was warmer weather back then. So the next thing that's going to follow my talking here is an unboxing so you can see all the items that come with this here drone in high detail, nice and close up. So if it's something you want, check out the unboxing. It's going to show you a lot of good stuff. But uh, for now, I'm going to say I'm going to put links below to where you can find this on the Geekbind website. I think it's on sale. It's probably not very expensive. So check it out if it's a drone for you. It's a good one to get. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you'll catch me in more drone reviews, RC car reviews. I guess I can't do boat reviews <laughs> unless they're on ice, but I'll do some other type of review. All right. Take care. Catch you in the next video. Watch the unboxing. And now a super quick unboxing of the Bugs 4W 4K, which comes in this beautiful shoulder bag that is quite large in size. So uh, let's take a look inside and see how it's all packaged. Let's spin this around and open it up and uh, let's see what we have. Let's start over here. So over here, it looks like a little zippered pouch. Pull everything out. You get bug stickers and the manual. You also get the shoulder strap for the shoulder bag. Finally, you get four spare sets of props and a mini little Phillips screwdriver here. Next, we have the drone the controller the battery charger and the battery it looks like mine came with two batteries one here and one here let's take a look at everything individually first item to look at is the drone and look at the size of my hands and look at this drone this is quite large let's measure the drone really quick there we go 98 millimeters across and lengthwise it is approximately 192 millimeters it's a foldable drone so let's open this up and check out how big that is it is a pretty large drone in size check that out let's take a close-up look at the drone the first thing we have to do is remove this plastic so that our drone looks shiny new on the top, they've added 4K, the camera dimensions, and you have your power button to turn the drone on and off. In the rear, you have the battery, and there are no LED light indicators on the battery to tell you how much power is remaining. You can see the battery is a 7.6 volt, 3400 milliamp battery. Looking at the arms, LED lights on the bottom, very nicely made. And of course, the brushless motors with foldable props. Now let's take a look at this side of the drone. What do we see? Nothing. Well, let's look at the other side of the drone. What do we see? Nothing. Hmm, where is everything? Oh, there's something back here. Move this, and yes, your micro SD card slot is right there, so you can record the high quality video from the camera 
to the card. And there's what type of card is required for this here drone. Looking at the bottom of the drone, you see right here we have these LED landing lights, which are pretty cool when you fly uh, evening or even in daylight. Turn them on or off as you wish. They are pretty wild. You can see your drone from far away. Moving up, we have an optical flow sensor right there. That's in case you fly your drone indoors or even outdoors. It keeps the drone in place, looks at the ground, tries to match up the pixels. Then you have these ultrasonic sensors. Those are for the height. When the drone is flying, it knows it's getting low to the ground, knows to turn off the motors. And then finally in the front, you have your 4K camera. You'll notice on the 4K version, the 4K camera actually has a red ring around it to identify it as a 4K camera, vice the non-4K camera. You'll also notice there is no three-axis gimbal on this camera. There is a vibration dampening system. As you can see, I can move it. You can also see that the camera can look forward and all the way straight down if you wish. Here we have the battery in the drone. Plop the drone on my little scale and let's see what the weight is. Six 136 grams. Next we'll take a look at the controller. You can see that it is one of these controllers where the arms pop out so you can hold it in your hand nice and firm like that. Antennas in the back. On the rear of the controller there's a jog dial here. That will be for your gimbal up and down. Over here you can see you can turn on your landing lights on and off plus the speed of the drone. On this side this jog dial does nothing but this is your take off and land button. Top left is your photo and video button. Top right is your return home button and over here is your bind button plus your start and stop the motors button. Over here is your power button and for power you are going to need two AA batteries not included. Very important you have GPS on and off so if you're flying outdoors and you want the GPS on so it stays stable turn it on. If you want to fly the drone without GPS in other words indoors or maybe on certain days you don't want GPS then turn it off. Take the plastic off so it looks shiny new powered on and that is your beautiful display. Finally you get the charging system. Mine came with an extra battery so I have the extra battery in here. It also comes with a USB cable that you plug into the charging system and plug this into a USB power source. And this is what it looks like when you plug in the USB-C cable, the included one. Uh, I only have one battery in, so it's only charging one. If I put a second battery in, it will charge this one, then charge this battery. If I want both batteries to charge at the same time, because I want to get out flying quick, I have to plug in a second USB-C cable right here, and then both will charge at the same time. And that ends my review of the Bugs 4W 4K drone. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. Up. Check the links below to find this drone on sale and uh, we'll catch you in the next video with plenty of more drone videos. Take care.